Okay, so hopefully you have your apple finished and it's in your book already. Um, go ahead and create an area here for some notes. Um, here I talked about my final blending techniques, um, colors that I use, things like that. Um, anything that you learned from here, maybe uh, I, you know, you added too much green and it created a brown. You know, those types of reflection notes is what needs to go there. Um, we are going to look at watercolor later, um, and that one we will do on a separate sheet of paper, and then add in, um, and you can't see my watercolor right there, but it's oh, down here at the bottom. Um, I don't really like how it turned out, but maybe the next one I do for you guys will turn out a little bit better. But um, So this is the beginning of your media study page, and I think this is all that you would have had time to do on Thursday. So this is all I'll be grading. So I'll be looking for the pictures attached, the sources like we have here, um, your apple and colored pencil, um, some color trials with your colored pencils, and some notes about their technique, what you learned about it, what you might do differently next time, and that type of thing. So you should have some extra area on your paper Oh, the other thing that I wrote down over here were the names of the colors that I used. So on this one in particular, I used a lot of different types of greens and blues and yellows because I had those at home at the time. Um, but list the colors that you use. List Prismacolor Scholar. That's the type of pencil it is. Or if you use the Prang. Um, you know, list that information here so that if you want to make these colors again, a different colored pencil brand is going to look different. So you're going to want to know what that is. So um, I look forward to seeing these on Friday, and I um, hope yours turned out well.